Here we go with a look at our ag commodity trade on Wednesday. And we're about two days away from the uh, uh, August edition of our WASDE report that'll be coming out from USDA. Speaking of USDA, they had a little tidbit, a little nugget that came out this morning. Let's take a look at what they said before the market opened up today. We had an overnight export sale. And what we had was a sale of soybeans to China. Everybody's been waiting for that. They wondered when that would happen. Well, there it is. Now, it wasn't an overly large purchase, but it was larger than they have been buying recently. So the total, just under 200,000 tons. It was 196,000 tons of soybeans to China. That would be like three Panamax vessels, I believe. So a pretty good size purchase right there in that overnight uh, update. Now, uh, let's take a look at what the markets are doing here. And we'll start with the corn board. Our quotes are provided by bar chart. September gaining 11 and a half cents on the corn. We're at 627. And now December up eight and a half at 622 and a half. So once again, you have the September outperforming the new crop December month. <clears throat> that uh, spread widening out a little bit. And speaking of uh, spreading between the nearbys and the new crop months, check out soybeans. The uh, September is up 34 and a half cents now at 1546 and three quarters. November is 19 and three quarters higher. It's at 1448 and a half. That September is almost a dollar over the November now. Interesting how that spread is working out. Meanwhile, in our wheat trade, uh, here in Chicago, they're getting after it today. September 19 and a half higher. It's above $8 at 801 per bushel. In Kansas City, you have that September contract, 20 and three quarters higher. Last trade, 872 and a half. And in Minneapolis, spring wheat, September 19 higher at 911 and three quarters. And the cotton market today on that December contract is uh, going forward as well. Look at this, December at 101.71 is up 264 points now. Uh, very strong action there, and it has cleared a dollar. It's In fact, it's cleared a dollar and a penny per pound. It's come back a long ways this week. We're joined by Todd Bubba Horwitz of BubbaTrading.com. Now he's based in Chicago. And Todd, I always enjoy talking with you about the uh, market outlook. You're one of the few that has been talking for a long time about maybe ignoring that sell-off we have seen in the grains for uh, quite a while, for about a month. And you said there could be stronger markets ahead. Well, today would seem to maybe support that theory. What do you think about the market action here this week? Well, Marlon, I to, listen again. We're, right now, we're seeing this churn, this you know, back and forth in a wide chain trading ranges. We had the CPI this morning, which was, I guess, better than expected at eight and a half percent. But at the end of the day, I think there's going to be a food shortage. I think that these grains have got to fly higher. And you know, again, there's so many issues that we continue to ignore. And you know, what happens is always is that suddenly it shows up, and oh, we're right, we are short. And now these prices start to soar, and that's what I would expect to see. I would expect to see soaring prices, you know, starting any time from now until you know, we get closer to harvest. But, you know, we're going to see this wisely report, and what's it going to say? What's, what's it going to look like acreage-wise? And from what I'm hearing, it's not so good at the moment. Well, and of course, we're going to be having quite a few uh, private crop tours going through the Corn Belt here in the coming weeks. And I, I just wondered how the trader is going to interpret that, because... I'll admit there are some areas that are really, really good. Uh, they're going to have record yields out there, but you can have fields 30 miles away, I understand, that are hardly going to make anything this year. It's going to be hard to put all this together. I think we're going to have a shortage, Marlon. I think there's going to be a food shortage. I think that it's going to be uh, prices in the U.S. that are going to skyrocket and prices around the globe in certain areas that there won't be any. And I think that's going to be, you know, obviously very, very nasty and maybe cause some some riots and some other things. We've already, we've already witnessed some of those at a small pace. So I think that you're looking at, at really prices that have to go higher. And I, I think that you're going to see as we, we get more of these reports out and as we get... And I did, I did want to point out that uh, the Wall Street Journal did a survey of analysts around the country. And for the uh, WASDE report coming out on Friday, they surveyed analysts about what they thought corn yield would be and also what they thought soybean yield would be. And on the pre-report estimate, the average trade gas on corn, remember USDA was looking for 177. Uh, the average trade gas is 175.8 bushels per acre. And the average trade gas, while USDA is looking for 51 and a half bushels per acre on soybeans, 
On uh, the trade guess, they're looking at 51 even. Now, that's as it stands right now for the average guess. We'll see uh, who comes in the closest uh, when that report comes out on, uh, well, Friday at noon Eastern time. We'll have full coverage right here. Todd, thanks for all the information. Always good to hear from you. Todd Bubba Horowitz, he's with BubbaTrading.com. He's based in Chicago. We'll come back in a moment and we'll take a look at our livestock trade next. <music> 